tongue twisters are one of the best ways to learn new vocabulary, while improving fluency and pronunciation at the same time. They are a fun language tool for children because they use rhyming words and sound repetition that can lead to lots of laughter and silly sentences. Do you want to spend some time learning and laughing with your child? Of course you do! Laughter is contagious! Hello, my name is Brittany and I'm here to share NovaKid's super selection of tongue twisters for children of different ages and levels. Are you ready to get tongue-tied? Let's start! Let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start! We recommend starting simple with some easy tongue twisters first. Don't jump right in to trying the hardest tongue twisters right away. If your child doesn't read yet, choose tongue twisters with three or four words and simple sounds so they don't struggle to memorize the sentences. Let's try some examples together. Divers dive deep. Divers dive deep. Divers dive deep. Divers dive deep. First, ask your child to pronounce each word individually. Divers dive deep. After two or three repetitions, ask them to say the full sentence. Once you are sure that they have memorized it, gradually increase the speed. Divers dive deep. Divers dive deep and see how fast you can say it. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. This tongue twister is the perfect way to practice the t sound as it comes at the beginning and the end of the words. Cooks cook quickly. Cooks cook quickly. Cooks cook quickly. Cooks cook quickly. This tongue twister is a great way to practice the sound. K -k -k. Cooks cook quickly. Next, we have baboon bamboo. Baboon bamboo, baboon bamboo, baboon bamboo. This tongue twister is a little bit tricky, but it's a great way to practice the b sound in baboon and the oo sound in bamboo. Finally, we have Zebra zig and zebra zag. 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 This tongue twister is a great way to listen and practice the differences between the z sound and the s sound. Zebras. If your child is familiar with letter sounds and can recognize them easily, you can write out longer tongue twisters and practice reading them together. Let's look at some examples. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? This is another great example of practicing the k sound. She sees cheese. Here, your child will practice the difference between sh and this is also a great way to practice sibilant sounds. Sh, s, ch. Greek grapes, Greek grapes, Greek grapes. Here, your child can practice articulating the gr sound. This consonant cluster isn't easy to pronounce, is it? Why do you cry, Willy? Why, Willy? Why? This is another great example of practicing the W sound. Background, background, black, black, brown, brown. This is a good example of practicing the B sound while also helping your child practice the K sound in back and the G sound in ground. Back, ground. And if your child has no struggles pronouncing different sounds, especially difficult sounds like the th and th sounds, 
we recommend trying these tongue twisters. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, you have to put up the with the weather whether you like it or not. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought you thought I thought. If you notice this notice, you will notice that this notice isn't worth noticing. Yes, this is the thing. Is this the thing? He threw the ball three times. These tongue twisters are a bit difficult, so our advice is to not focus on speed, but rather on correct pronunciation. An American author, Dr. Seuss, was known for his fun rhymes, riddles, and tongue twisters. In fact, several of his books are full of amazing tongue twisters. For example, in his book, Fox in Socks, you can see the passages New Socks, Two Socks, Whose Socks, Sue's Socks, and Bim Comes, Ben Comes, Bim Brings Ben Broom, Ben Brings Bim Broom. Or in The Foot Book, you can read passages such as left foot, left foot, left foot, right. You'd better get your tongue muscles ready. Tongue twisters may not make a lot of sense, but they do aid in language development. They improve pronunciation of words, help children read sentences at a faster pace, and they improve memory. Not to mention, they're fun! Make it a competition. See who can pronounce the tongue twister faster and without mistakes. You or your child. You can even prepare small prizes to increase motivation. We hope that today we could show you the advantages of tongue twisters in learning the English language. Make it a part of language development and results will come faster than you expect.